Hello and welcome to News Up Now. I'm Gleitza Martin is here next to me, State Senator Scott Wiener. Thank you so much for coming one Thank more you. time. So let's talk about, um, we, we spoke about um, homeless issues and affordable housing before. Uh, today I would like to talk about the freeways. You know, we talk about improving housing for, mm -hmm. the, for the people in the Bay Area, but what about our freeways? Well, uh, a few issues with our freeways. They're very crowded, yeah. a lot of okay. congestion. Uh, and one of the reasons that our freeways are so congested is that we have not built enough housing where the jobs are in San Francisco, the peninsula, for example. And so we force people to live further and further away and they have to drive a long distance and it clogs up our freeway. So mm -hmm. you reduce freeway congestion by making it easier and more affordable for people to live near where they work. Um, but then there's also the issue of the condition of our freeways. Yes. They're not in good shape. Uh, we have a lot of deferred maintenance, and uh, the, in 2017, my first year in the Senate, we passed uh, the largest transportation funding measure in California history, uh, which will provide $5 billion a year in new transportation funds, um, about 20% for public transportation, 80% for local roads and freeways, so it'll increase investment in our freeway system mm -hmm. and other areas. Would you think we need to focus as well, besides that, on the, like, BART issues go everywhere? Or even in a city, you need to go to everywhere. Like, if you go to Marin County, there's no BART to go over there. Right. So, and therefore, the freeways would be packed. First, we have to make sure that the systems that we have, Muni, BART, Caltrain, um, are uh, fixed up and modernized and, and make sure that they're working and have expanded capacity. Um, in terms of expanding and creating new lines, I'm all in favor of that as long as it's going to places with a lot of housing so there's good ridership. Mm -hmm. We've had a tendency in the Bay Area for political reasons to build rail extensions into commun towards communities with no housing density, very little population, and then you have low ridership. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're pairing major transit investments like new BART lines, for example, uh, with a lot more housing. So that, because if you build transit into areas that are surrounded by low density single family homes, not very many people can walk mm -hmm. to that transit. So very few people can actually ride it or they have to drive and then you have to have huge parking lots for mm -hmm. people and, and it's just not the best way to do it. But we have to come up with a solution to at least uh, minimize the situation. Well, the, the way you do it is to allow enough housing. Because some people will say, well, we have too many jobs. Well, when you have a community or a city or a region that says, we don't want more employers here, don't create jobs here, uh, that might you know, feel good in the short run. That's how a city goes downhill. When you say, we're not open for business anymore, we don't want your company here, we don't want you to create jobs mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. that you know, we, we just need to have enough housing and do it in a sustainable way. Well, especially when you talk about retail in the city. I mean, most of the employees, they live in the different towns and come to San mm -hmm. Francisco, but they cannot afford to live here. Right. In a sense, it's, it's too expensive. Right. And, and, and it's not just about San Francisco. We don't exist in a vacuum. It's the whole region. Oh, yeah. Everyone needs to have the housing, and we have to have the transit connecting it so people can choose not to drive. And safe transit. So another um, uh, bill you had, which is uh, uh, Senate Bill 127, so can you talk about yeah. that one too, please? We have, when we talk about our state highway system, there are quote unquote highways mm -hmm. that are state highways, but they really are city surface streets. So in San Francisco, Van Ness Avenue, Lombard, 19th Avenue, Park Presidio, these are all state highways. Those are not owned by the city, mm -hmm. uh, even though they look like city yes, surface streets. Yeah. And the problem we have on these streets is that we need to make them safer for pedestrians, for cyclists, and for people riding public transportation. Mm -hmm. And that is a design issue. It's called complete streets mm -hmm. or vision zero, trying to reduce the number of people getting injured and killed. Mm -hmm. And right now, for many years, Caltrans, the state transit agency, has designed these streets only for maximizing the number of cars that can go through instead of balancing all the needs. And so SB 127 is our way of saying to Caltrans, you must take into account all people's use of the street, including people wait, who need a safe place to wait for the bus, who want to ride their bike, who are crossing the street as pedestrians. You have to design for their safety as well. It's about double parking the city. Yeah. 
it's, which is against the law, right? Yes. So what can we do? Actually, I should ask you, what can you do to help the city? The city needs to have the political will to consistently enforce double parking. The laws are all in the books. Everything is there. It is, when someone double parks and sits in a lane of traffic to go in and do something and causes a traffic jam, when someone parks their car in a bike lane, when a delivery truck parks in the middle of the street, even though there's a place for the delivery truck to pull over, uh, when a taxi cab or an Uber or a Lyft let, pick up or let off in the middle of the street, even though they could pull over, these are all illegal and, th and they should receive warnings and then citations, tickets. Uh, and the MTA and the police department have just refused or failed to do that in a consistent way. They issue, um, I, when I was on the Board of Supervisors, we would hold hearings on this, and they were issuing very, very few citations. And, you know, in some place, if it's a back street somewhere, a neighborhood street, it doesn't matter. But if it's a main thoroughfare and you're blocking the bike lane or causing a traffic jam, that, that's a problem and we need to enforce it. They're not enforcing it enough. Why? Uh, it, it's hard. It, it's hard. Um, it requires, you know, a focus of your resources. Uh, and we have developed a culture in San Francisco that you can just leave your, just put your brake on and leave your car wherever you want. And so people get mad when they're told, no, you can't park in the middle of the street to run into the coffee shop to get, or to pick up your dry cleaning. And I, and I get it. People will say, there's not enough parking. I can't find a parking spot. And I'm not saying it makes them bad people, but we, we are, have created a culture that really screws with our transportation system. You block, I've seen you know, muni buses with 50 people on it get blocked by one car because someone decided to double park. And that bus just has to wait there until that person comes back to their car. It just, there's a, a space right here you can pull over easily, mm -hmm. but they don't do it. I know, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's really maddening. It is, yeah. it is. Okay, Scott, thank you so much for Thank you here. for having me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with more news up now.